Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Lisa with Primitive Gatherings. And guess what? We're here to do block 20 for our American Quilter Stitch Along. But we will be here next week to do the finishing. So we're going to do block 20 today, but we also are going to come back and do finishing for next week. And we will talk about some of the sashing and border options for that as well. Let's set those right there. That'll be good. All right, so jump on, say hello, tell us where you're from. You know the drill by now. We've done this 20 weeks in a row. <laughs> but um, some of them, I guess, weren't live. But can we hear me good? Let us know if everything is good. We have some prizes today to give away. I'll show you the prizes quickly. We have some note cards with the um, blocks that we're making on those. Judy here has made those beautiful cards. We have a Yuletide Gathering flannel charm pack, and this fabric is in stock and flying out the door here. So don't wait to get this. We have a lot of that here, and it's going well. Everybody who pretty much comes to the retreat house, I see their bundles, and it's mm -hmm. lots and lots of Yuletide. So, um, and then for another prize today, we have Red Work Gatherings as a layer cake. So those are our prizes. And Jessica will let us know when uh, she has picked some winners for that. So the only way that you can win is if you comment. So keep commenting and hopefully you will be one of our winners. So this block today is going to be not hard, but not easy. So it's kind of in between. It's just simple folded corners. So you can master that no problem, I know. But um, let's talk about the Hogs for Heroes, where we're at with our fundraising. And I will talk a little bit more next week on when we're going to do our auction. And I don't want to do our auction until my quilt is done that I want to auction off. So um, it might be a month or so after. And there's no really no rush because our hero is not going to get his hog till next year. <laughs> so we're all good. But we are at... A total of $32,252. So we got a bunch of donations this week and some really, really good ones too. So um, I'm going to read you a couple of those who are honoring their vets. Patricia Doyle, who stayed at the retreat house this uh, past week, she donated $140. Now, why did she donate $140? She says... Um, my three persons were in the military for 14 consecutive years. This is $10 for each year she had a member serve. So that's why 140. They all came home alive and uninjured. We are blessed. One Naval Academy grad, one West Point grad, and one regular Navy. So thank you, Patricia, for that awesome donation. We appreciate that. And then this one was another awesome one. This is from Sandra Hogan or Hagen, Hagen. Um, I'm sending this in honor of my boyfriend, cool, who served in the Marines, my dad who served in the Air Force, my nephew who served in the Navy, and uncles who served in the Army. I also gave much, I also gave much honor and respect to all those who have served or are still serving. They all sacrificed so much. Thank you for all you are doing with Hogs for Heroes. I am so glad to be a part of it. And Sandra gave $500. So that was so amazing, Sandra. I almost fell off my chair when I opened that one up at home. Uh, Lisa, I wanted to get my donation to you before you are all finished up with American Quilters Blocks. My check is in honor of my family members who served in the military, my grandfather in World War I, my father and two uncles in Korea, my husband in Vietnam, my brother during the Vietnam War, and my nephew is in the sec second Iraqi War. I feel so proud knowing they defended our country and freedom. Thank you for our support of our veterans. Always Peg Eustet. So Peg, thank you for your awesome donation as well. And then Kathy Smolinski, she donated $50. Thank you very much for your hard work match, matching veterans with a motorcycle. What a great idea. The pattern is a added bonus. Thanks. Kathy Smolinski. Yes, isn't that a great idea? I wish it was mine, but it's not. But we're going to help them to keep giving more bikes. 
please find the enclosed check for $100 to support Primitive Gatherings Hogs for Heroes charity. This donation is given in honor of my favorite Air Force veteran, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Anders Bergman. His dedication to God and country continues to inspire even in his retirement. God bless our vets. Sincerely, Linda Bergman. Awesome. Thank you so much for what you are doing. My husband and I have so much respect and appreciation for the unconditional sacrifice and service of all of our military as well as the police officers. I would like to make my donation in honor of my father, Alva Willie Wiley and his two brothers, Lloyd and Calvin. All three are in World War II, Army veterans. My father-in-law, Robert Hallett, career Air Force, and cousin Jim Richardson, Vietnam Marine. They are all heroes to me. Additionally, I love your work and patterns and your YouTube shows. Your kindness and generosity shines. And that is from Kim Hullett, H-U-L-L-E-T-T-T. -T -T. Hopefully I spelled that right. I said that right. Thank you guys. That is so awesome. We had a ton, a ton of donations this week, and that was so fun opening those up. All right, so hope you're all jumping on and saying hi. Jess, pick a winner for the flannel um, charm pack. Kathy Gerhardt. Kathy Gerhardt. I know Kathy. She is a longtime customer and awesome basket maker. I have taken a class or two from her. Okay, so let's see where we are. Okay, guess what? This weekend is my birthday. So... I created a free pattern for you in honor of the season. So this will be a free download. What are the details? Free on your blog. Free on my blog. So this little guy, Esmeralda, I guess it's a gale. <laughs> Esmeralda is going to be on my blog as a free pattern. We do have kits for her as well. She's already decked out for Halloween. She's got her purple hat on. She's got her black makeup on and she's ready to ready to shine for Halloween. So Esmeralda will be a free pattern on my blog this weekend, Saturday and Sunday only. That's your shot. After that, you got to pay for it. So we'll hook up this weekend. And then, oh, okay can't just do one. So do you remember the gnome pillows for uh, we three gnomes with the Santa gnomes? Well, how cute is this? We couldn't help ourselves. So we did a Halloween gnome pillow as well. And I forgot what we named it. Frightful, frightful gnomes. So they're not really too frightful. They look happy to me, but they are fun. And that will be also uh, something for you to purchase on our website. So get yourself one of those if you need to change out your gnomey pillows. And uh, I, I got to admit, I wasn't a gnome fan, but I'm a convert now because they are super cute. All right. So we still have openings in Debbie Maddie's Indigo Dying. Just a few spots, not too many. Three-day class, uh, November 3rd through the 5th. And then we have a one-day class that Saturday, which is the 6th. And then also... If you want to come join us for our naughty and nice retreat, that is the 6th of December through the 12th, whole week of getting our stuff done and a couple projects for you to work on. And you, you know, you deserve to come and hang out and you can contact Jenny, who is our retreat manager and her number, phone number is 920-778-8031. If you want more information on that, if you want the, the, sign up sheet mailed to you or if you have any questions you can stay at the gathering as well i think does that one can you be a day person and an and a guest or retreat or naughty and nice. mm -hmm. um, yeah sure. i think so i yeah, think you can, can do that. yeah i think you can stay there the whole week or you can just come and go to your own bed at night like like i do mm -hmm. <laughs> all right so because we are finishing up we do have a couple options that we can share with you for finishing our Hogs for Heroes quilt. Um, the Navy, 104042, we have sold out all what we have gotten in for this, and we won't be getting that Navy until 22, 2022. So 
If you want that navy, you have to wait till then. That's as fast as they can get it to us. But we have a couple lighter options for you. And this one is eggshell grunge. This one is a nice, you know, I would say cream, but it has some grays and very like um, cream hues to it, which I think will look nice. And I can't wait to see which one of these I pick. I'm for sure probably going to do this one. This one is Vanessa Christensen's Fairy Dust. And it has like a little um, sparkly through the middle and then it goes out on the end. And I think that'll be awesome. It'll look like stars in the, in the, in the borders and backgrounds of that one. And then we, if you're more traditional and you want a light print, we have a bunch of this red print on cream that we think would look beautiful as well. And this is in your um, American Gatherings line. So it's in your stripes as well. So those are three options. And Jessica will have those somewhere for you to, on the website. Oh, in the Stitch Group, she will have live links to the website if you want to perch any of those. And Stitch Group, we mean Stitch with Lisa Von Jean on Facebook. So that's where we can talk and hang out and show off all of our fun stuff that we get done each week. And we love it when you share your stuff. So gives us stuff to stuff to look at and to like and to have fun with. All right. Should we get stitching now? Anybody have anything else here? Should we introduce a new girl? <laughs> yes. You want to wait? Or you want to come over here? All right. So we have Heidi. We have a new girl here. So she's watching how we do this. And she will help us out with social media and blogging and photography and videoing. And whatever, you tell me. And whatever I tell her. <laughs> That'll be awesome, right? All right. So welcome, Heidi. She's one of our new new members here at Primitive Gatherings, and we are looking forward to getting her her new computer and her being able to help us out. So right now she's like catching us up on helping binding books and learning kind of what we all do around here. But um, super awesome. We love it when new people come. All right, so block 20. I can't believe it's already here. As you know the drill, give me about a half hour to get this all on, our photographs taken of the blocks and everything. And then um, we will get this on the blog for you to download. And uh, Terry's gonna have to send me this as a PDF. I forgot to tell, ask her that this morning. So for this block, it's pretty simple because you all, it's just rectangles with two two little uh, folded corners on, and then it's eight squares with one folded corner on. So that's it for the blocks. Uh-oh, we got a visitor. <laughs> Come on in, Kathy. She's not shy. You know Kathy. Kathy is here picking out some stuff that she's going to have for some more videos for us. So uh, she's here today working as well. All right, so let's get stitching. Um, let's see, the pattern does the squares first, so we'll do those. And let me just run here to make sure we're good. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking one square. Which one am I going to? This one? One square. I'm putting it on the corner here. Make sure it lines up. And I'm just going to stitch across the diagonal on all eight. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't know if you can see this. Can they see right here? Um, nope. Can they see this line I have? No. Okay. All right. So all, I have a line on my sewing machine here that's directly in line with the needle. So I actually just drew it on there with a permanent marker. And all I do is run the point of this square right on that line. And they're quite little, so it's not a lot of stitching. So they go fairly quickly. Right here, can you see it? And that's straight in line with my needle. And when I line this up, that follow this corner follows that line. Try not to move too fast. All right, we back in focus? Okay. 
and I continue that line right onto my throat plate, right onto the silver part as well. All right, Jessica, why don't we pick another winner while I'm sewing these eight for the cards? Alan. What's that? Lisa Allen. Lisa Allen, you are the winner of our cards. Thank you so much for being here today. And the winners, you know how you claim your prize, right? Store at primitivegatherings.us is the email. Send us your physical address so we can get those in the mail. And Carrie, if uh, you go by my desk and grab those stickers, we'll give them a sticker too. Okay. I'm all about stickers. Make my life happy. Grab my laptop. Show them my laptop. Show them how I I put stickers everywhere. On my yeah. car. On the visor in your car? Yeah. Hey. Let's hear about these. There it is. I'm like, one was missing. So this is the sticker you're going to get today. Maker Beyond Measure. So we'll put those right in. So see, I put my stickers everywhere. On my computer, on my Yeti mugs, all over. I love stickers. So it's like the new craze nowadays. You know those stickers that they have on your visor that says, you know, don't remove this and don't do that. and don't. Well, I don't want to look at that, so I filled it all full of stickers. Makes my day every day when I look at it. All right, I got all eight of those Jesse, done. You're still using your juki. I'm still using my juki. Yeah, the other one is still at the retreat house. We're getting ready though to go in our new studio. We got finally got the table in there, so that was our last. Hurrah. So I said, Kaylee, are we going to go in there today? And she's like, no, let's just finish out here. So, all right. So now I'm just going to clip these a quarter of an inch away from the stitch line. And you can do this with your rotary cutter as well. All depends on what you like best. A lot of people are... Um, liking your details. You want to tell them it's in the description? Oh, yeah. On our website, we have a couple different options of the decals that you can put on your sewing machine, or you can put your stickers here too as well. I put that new sticker that I just showed you on my silver juki, like on my table there. So we do have decals. I don't know if Jessica can find the link for the. In the description. Oh, okay. All right. So now we're just. I sewed this one wrong. <laughs> Will you rip that one for me? Okay. See what I did? I must have been talking too much and I sewed it to the wrong side. Right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hopefully I didn't do that to too many of them. So this is called chain pressing when you just keep lining them up one after another after another. That didn't look like enough. One, two, three. Four. Okay. Yep. Oh, there was one hidden. See, I knew I didn't count eight. Okay. All right. So next up, we shall put these. All right. So how do I make that work now that I cut it off? Oh, boy. All right. We just do that. See, we all make we all make boo boos, so don't be hard on yourself if you make them. Okay, there. Now we're all set. Okay, so I'm just going to get these in the right spot. So there's four in each corner, one in each corner to make four, with the triangle pointing in, right? And then these ones kind of whirl around. I don't think this is the my favorite block. <laughs> but it was definitely different. <laughs> All right. So they kind of pinwheel around. So here's a good 
example of that. And then these are going to go in here. But these have two corners. Anybody have any questions at all this week about anything? I'll never say never. You have to repeat the question. Oh, the question. <laughs> Will you ever switch over to a Bernina? I don't know. Those Berninas are pretty cool. So, possibly. You never know. They are pretty fancy, and I think they pretty much do everything. I think they cut your fabric and stitch it and press it and do everything. <laughs> How do you like working in your new space? I love it. I love our whole place here. It's it's so so fun to be here. So fun to have everybody around. So fun having all these new people to hang out with and to just have fun with and to have a great space to create in is is priceless so and pretty much everybody who comes here is just like in awe of the whole place and so that's very rewarding when they stress how what a good job you've done and so that's awesome I wish I could just stand by the door and just greet all the people who come in, but then I wouldn't get anything done. So <laughs> I love talking to the men who come in and they, they got, they got opinions. Mm -hmm. They got opinions. I love it. They have a little seating area for them. Yeah. A couple yeah. of chairs by the front door. They can hang out. Yeah. Yeah. So what Carrie said is we have a couple chairs right when you walk in. They're nice and comfy. They can sit there and use our Wi-Fi, and they're happy little campers. And then I tell them that we're stocking our pond with fish, and they'll be able to go fishing. And some of them are like, uh, I don't fish. And some of them are like, really? Really? And I'm like, yeah. I don't want you in here if you can be somewhere else. Because <laughs> then nobody feels pressured that they got to hurry up and leave if you're out there on the dock fishing. Again, I'm trimming these. And am I doing an exact quarter? Nope, it doesn't have to be. One that through. Back to the iron. How's my polish look today? Does it look burgundy again? No, it looks orange. Okay, it is orange. Kaylee said it looked burgundy last week. <laughs> Okay, so now throw away my little schnibbles. And we are going to park these in here now with all of the triangles pointing toward the center. Okay. Hmm. All right, so in the directions, they put the center together first. So that's what we're going to do. Or you could probably do this in rows. Oh, you have to put the center together first. Line them up. I'm just going to finger press these open for a minute here. And then hit them quick with the iron. Make sure I get them back to the right orientation. Thank you, Leanne. She gave us a super sticker. Awesome. That don't look right. <laughs> This one looks right now. Okay. <laughs> Got to double check. It's easy to turn those blocks, right? 
I'm gonna put one little pin in this one. In that center. Diana wants to know why it takes an hour for you to do a lap. It takes her all night. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me, Diana. <laughs> why is it? I had mine cut out, maybe. Give yourself some uh, grace that way. Mine are already cut out. You want to talk about starching? Big pieces like yardage? Okay. Like three yard piece that she's wondering about. Okay, so here's what I do. Um, your width of fabric is like 44 or 45, right? So when you're doing yardage, you put like I have like a, a bo I would call it a big board, a big board ironing board. So it's a rectangle, uh, basically like 20 by 60. So it's probably 18 by 58, but about that size, right? So I lay that, I put towels across my ironing surface first, and then I will lay whatever fits across, you know, it's probably, you know, however wide it is, you know, eight, 15 inches. And then I will totally saturate that section so it's probably 15 by 44 right and then i'll take it and i'll hold up the next part and lay it upon itself and then i kind of pull it back so i can see where i've already starched on the top and then i continue to starch again and i just continue to like roll it upon itself as i starch it or what you can do is look at your look at your cutting and see if there's like like if it's for borders like cut your border fabric off and start them in two different pieces so if your border say if your borders are like um what's a nice border size like 90 inches right i would start i would snip and rip like 92 93 inches and then starch that by itself so you're starching in smaller sections as well so sometimes in my patterns, I'll say, okay, you know, cut off 80 inches, that's for the borders and sashing or whatever. And then you can separate those two. And I always give a couple inches for um, leeway in case something happens. So I'm gonna press the center seam open. Diana just wants my video to be longer, so uh, she doesn't feel so bad. So it's, it's kind of like a pinwheel now, and all of those are pressed open put that back in the center. So I've stitched those two. So now I can stitch this one to the center as well. And this one I don't have to pin because there's no seam in the middle of that. Yeah, and we all are different. Some of us are, I say, when I teach classes, some of us are fast Freddies and some of us are slow poke Sallies. It's just what we are, so. Um, don't worry about that. All right, so this one must go that way and that way. I don't want to make sure I don't screw this orientation up with all these corners and have to have my assistant ripper over there. Add this one. Do you offer long arm services? We do offer long arm services. The guys here, quilt quilts. We have, um, do you have the Bernina number, Kaylee, or not? So we have an email or we have a phone number that you can use. I'm going to press these seams open as well. I do have it. Okay. Email is up. Yeah, so we have about a, about a one month turnaround right now. And um, we do edge to edge is what we offer. And we can do one of the things that the guys special in is doing specialize in is doing um, wool applique quilts. So if you have some wool applique quilts that you're afraid to get quilted or you can't afford to get them custom quilted, they can do a pantograph over that and that is really Really cool to see that happen. All right, so strip stick, a little bit longer seam instead of just that little short one. So I'm gonna. I'm going to the middle of the board. Oh, there you go. Ooh, it looks good. Looks good.
Carol Forrestal. She has the long arm boys number on speed dial. <laughs> cool. They love it. They love their, their repeat customers. So, and it's funny cause like they'll get one quilt and then they'll get like a box of six from some of the ladies or, or, um, so they're super excited when they know that they gain the ladies trust with, with their sewing. So, all right, we're going to have to pin these now. So now where these little intersections come here, I'm going to pin those. It looks and sounds like we have a lot of new starchers. Oh, okay. So the reason we starch, we, the reason we starch is these tiny pieces go through your machine much nicer if they're a little stiffer and they fray less. So it really, and they shrink, they shrink during the starching process. And if you don't do that, they're shrinking while you're pressing them with your iron and they will shrink at different rates. So it's nice to control the starching, control it with the starching before you cut them. All right, this one here. But we have videos on all that. If you go back through the uh, playlist and watch some of those earlier videos for this and how we starched and how we prepped and some of that stuff, you will see that. I finished my um, summer block of the week. So that, putting the binding on that today. So now I'll be able to sew all these stripes. I have three sets of stripes. No, two sets of stripes I need to stitch to complete the other two quilts. All right, so there's our center. And I find no need to trim this up, especially if it matches up nicely to our four and a half little sashing strip here. So it matches up beautifully. We have a new visitor. Do you want to say hi? They might miss you. You might not have a choice. <laughs> Did you swoop over there, Kaylee? See him? I don't know. Yeah. Make them all busy. So on Saturday, I am going to my. 35th, which is really 36th class reunion because we got postponed last year, my class reunion. So that's what I'm going to do on Saturday. So that might be interesting. I don't think I've gone since maybe 10 years. I can't remember. But I'm always going to Houston when they have it in the fall. I'm, or, or I'm always gone somewhere. But um, when they canceled market, I was able to go. I'm always in Houston on my birthday, so I always get to celebrate. In Houston, which is a lot of fun. Because there's always something to do in the big city. Ed Sheeran concerts. <laughs> on a whim at the last minute, right Jess? Yeah. We've done some fun things through the years, basketball games. Baseball games, yes, for sure. Baseball games at right there at Minute Maid Park. Leaving your purse in the bar over there. Shh. I might have forgotten my purse or two. Time or two. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be telling them all our all my secrets. All my stress-relieving uh, opportunities. <laughs> when market, when you get to market, it's like, whew, 
all the work is done and you just kind of hang out and have fun. All right. Yeah, when we go to when we go to Houston, we're there for 17 days with the um, with the uh, market and festival, how we used to be. So I'm going to trim up one side of this because that goes to this one here. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful! Look at that. I love it when everything goes smoothly. Only one little blooper today, huh? But that happens, right? Press it toward the blue. We're going to, ooh, I've got two of the same stripes in there. See that? What should I do? Should I change this out? Nope. We're putting it in. We don't care. It's at the end. You might not. You might have two that are in the same block at the end. It's okay. We'll survive. Some things matter and some things do not. All right. Get my little leader off there. Get in the right spot. So if you are you new and you don't know what this is, this is a pressing stick for helping keeping your seams open. What it does is it doesn't mess up the other seams that are on the block as well. All right, so there we are. We have one more trim. There's my other two blocks there that I have to finish. And usually I do them right away after this one. Line up my 12 and a half inch ruler here. There you go. So I have one more prize to give away, but there's our block. It's beautiful. Layer cake time. Dolores Rast. Dolores Rast. You get this lovely Red Work Gatherings layer cake. So please send us your address, store at primitivegatherings.us, and we will get that to you. Carrie's going to put a sticker in there as well. Put your name on that. And Judy downstairs will ship them out to you. So do we have any other questions before we sign off today? Are we good? Did I cover everything on the list? All right, everybody. Take care, and we will see you next week. Bye now.